In this lecture, we're going to look at playing videos inside of our Ionic applications. To get started, we'll need to install the Cordova Video Player plugin. To do that, we can run Ionic Plugin Ads, and we'll have to pull this one from GitHub, so HTTPS, github.com, slash M-O-U-S-T, slash Cordova, dash plugin, dash video player. We can add dash dash save to commit this to config.xml. And the next thing we need to do is install the Ionic native wrapper for this plugin. So npm install at ionic-native slash video dash player. We can add dash dash save to commit this to package.json. After this is done, I'm going to open this up inside of Visual Studio Codes. The first thing that we need to do is head over to app at module.ts. And then we can import from Ionic native slash video player. We can import the video player and then add this to the list of providers. Then inside of our homepage, I'm going to change the title to video player and I'm going to add a button to play a video. So button play video. I'll add the ion dash button attribute. I'll add a click event equal to play video. And now let's add the play video function. This returns a promise, so let's do async play video. And we can add a try catch to see if there are any errors. And if there are, we can say console.error e. Outside of that, we'll need to import from Ionic Native slash video player the video player and the video options. We can add some video options to our homepage of type video options. And we can then so this dot video options is equal to, and let's take a look at what we can use within video options. We have the option to set some initial volume for the video playback. This volume can be added between zero and one. And we can see that if we set 0 0.3, that will be equal to 30% volume. Next, we have a scaling mode. Scale to fit is default. And we also have another scaling mode such as scale to fit with cropping. So let's set an initial volume by saying volume 0 0.7, and we'll leave the scaling mode as default for now. From within this function, we can then try to play a particular URL. So I'm gonna put a video URL of type string at the top of my page. Now that we have our video URL and our options, let's inject our video player into our constructor by saying private video player of type video player. And we can say this dot video player dot play. And now we need a URL. The plugin is able to play either file URLs or HTTP or RTSP URLs. For the URL, I'm gonna add this sample video from techslides.com. Feel free to add whatever video you want here. And then we're going to say play this dot video URL. And we can pass in our options by saying this dot video options. We can now add the Android platform to our device by saying Ionic platform add Android. And then to run this, we can say Ionic run Android dash L. If we now select play video, the video starts to play on my device. You won't be able to see this because we are not running an emulator at this point, but instead it's running on the device itself. But I can guarantee that clicking play does indeed open that video. Other things that we can do is after the video has started to play, we can say await this.videoplayer.play. And this will then obviously resolve that promise. So anything we say after this await will be run after the promise is resolved in that then event. And the promise is fired when the video has completed playing. So we can say video has completed. If at any point you wanted to stop the video, we could make a function named stop video. And we could say this dot video player dot close. So perhaps three seconds after the video has started playing, we could set a timeout to close the video saying this dot stop video. Prior to having a look at this on the phone, let's make a console.log inside of here that says the video was stopped. 
So if we click the play button, the video starts to play. And then after that three seconds, the video was stopped and the video completion then fires. Obviously, this is a very contrived example, but it's up to you how you want to implement your video playing and video stopping functionality. I'm going to remove the set time up for now. And that about wraps up the video player plugin within Ionic Native.